I'm loving this. This is amazing. Amazing to me. Um, if you don't know who I am, again, I'm Humble Ted. I've been around since the beginning, eight years ago, when we were in a basement. And everyone in this room is here for a reason. They took the time to buy a ticket, to see this, to, and to grow their opportunity. And that's what it really is. It's an opportunity. So get the most out of this tonight. If you have any questions, I'm going to kind of float around, and hopefully my blood pressure is going to come back down. And... Um, and that's really all I have to say. So let's get busy. Lee, take over. This is why so many businesses fail, right here. Lack of change. The person who started the business can't be the same person five years later. Progress requires you to learn different information. You need to upgrade yourself. You need to expand. Who we were in a basement, we're going to show you those pictures, just wouldn't be able to delegate the tasks that we delegate nowadays to be able to have the mindset and planning and really the thought process expands ourselves from just thinking about ourselves to thinking about the people who work for us, to thinking about their families, to thinking about the people we serve, all of you. We continue to expand and so does the vision. Yeah, absolutely, full transparency. Seven years ago, I was a fucking bum, you know? Absolutely nothing like I'm today. Absolutely, like I lived out of my car. How long did I sleep on your couch, Sebastian? Had to be at least a couple months. There was an indent there, there was an indent. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like I'll say it straight up, I was a loser. I had no drive, no ambition. Right? I wasn't willing to change my mental state, my physical state, my emotional state, anything. I wasn't willing to take action. And I woke up one day and I looked myself in the mirror and I felt broken. I couldn't go on like this anymore. I knew something had to change. Something had to change, but I wasn't sure really how to start. You know, but I knew the old ways wasn't working. It definitely wasn't working. I was miserable in time. You know, so day after day, I just took the next right action. Day after day, and soon, Three months went by, six months went by, nine months went by, a year, right? And all those good actions began to build up on each other. And now here we are, seven, eight years later, Sebastian and myself, and we're fucking crushing it. You know, but that shit didn't happen overnight. Mm -hmm. And that is the message I want to deliver to y'all, right? Like, you may look at somebody, whether it's on Instagram or social media, and you be like, I do this shit too. I look at people who are bigger than us, right? Not really in the Amazon space, but other things, right? And I'm like, I wanna be like those people. What do I need to do to be like those people? But sometimes I just feel stuck. Who's ever felt stuck before? Show, show a hand and say, I. I. Right? That's everybody. Everybody just raise their hand. You know, that stuck feeling is not a good feeling, but I promise you, if you take action on a daily basis, you no longer have to feel stuck. You know, stuck can be a thing of the past. It no longer has to be like that. I, I saw some people raise their hands um, that they're just getting into Amazon Wholesale. So we're gonna give a brief little breakdown of what Amazon Wholesale is. So essentially it's buying products in large volume at discounted pro prices and relisting them at Amazon for a profit. It's like, it's boiled down that simply. You know what I'm saying? And it can be broken down really into seven simple steps. You know, you find a wholesaler or distributor, which a lot of you did this weekend, correct? Who found some wholesalers or distributors? Raise your hand and say aye. Aye. Awesome, right? Awesome. So you ready? Step one's accomplished. Right? Who did any research on the products that they found today? Raise your hand and say aye. Aye. Step awesome. two, accomplished. Who placed any orders today? Raise your hand and say aye. Aye. Right? Step okay. three, accomplished. Okay. Right? Now all you got to do, I'm sure a lot of you are doing this already, prep the products when you're sending to an FBA facility, Amazon, and you get them to the warehouse. And then you just ship the products, whether it's FBA or FBM, your choice, doesn't matter to me. And then you manage repricing and you rinse, wash, and repeat. It's that simple. But in my head, I'm known to complicate shit. Who else complicates shit? Right? Show a hand, say aye if you complicate shit. Uh, you aye, complicated aye. fucks you. <laughs> you know? There's no need to complicate shit. But in our minds, it gets all twisted and twirled around, and we don't even know what we're doing anymore. You know? So we're here to kind of break that. And if there's one message we want to get across, Sebastian, what is that message? Amazon is a volume game. Amazon's volume. I thought you were asking me. <laughs> <laughs> Felt like you were asking me. I don't know if you saw it. Yeah, that's yeah? it. Right. Right. Um, yeah, what he said. <laughs> uh, that's it. It's a numbers game. The more, 
the more products you get out there, the more practice you get, the more you can stick to the wall. And you just rinse, wash, repeat. You get better at it. It's practice. It's about taking action, building these habits where it becomes norm to do the volume. Mm. It becomes mm. second nature. And so basically here, we just go in a little bit of stats. This is you know the Amazon sellers and their reviews and how much of uh, revenue was sold on Amazon in uh, 2020 here. You see 475 billion in revenue. This is Amazon.com, US Amazon. Right 295 billion of that was from third party sellers. You guys, 295 billion. 295 billion, 180 from Amazon. And if you look at it, like if you look at the top 10%, 852 sellers, right? 852 sellers, top 10%. That means the top 10% did about 30 billion. 30 billion. Yeah, your math is right. Yeah, yeah. 850 sellers sold about 30 billion. Not bad, not bad for Who wants a piece of that crowd. $30 billion pie? <laughs> right, I want a piece of that shit. <laughs> You, 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 got, you got a piece of that. You're, oh, yeah, you're, you're, in, you're in that guy. I do just, have a piece yeah, of that. Well, I want a bigger piece. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, I definitely want a bigger piece. You know, so this is, this is a little financial graph of our business. These are actual metrics from our company. Sebastian, you want to break this down for us? Yeah, this is uh, from the start. You'll see in the basement in 2013. We started in July 7-11, 2013, to where we are today in, in 2021. Uh, you know, we're going to surpass last numbers. We'll, last year's numbers will probably close to double what we did last year, which was a phenomenal year for us. A and it continues to grow. And basically, the reason we show you this, the reason we show you everything we do on Instagram is to show you that while you, we're showing you how to grow, we're growing ourselves. Yeah, we're not just We're, we're taking shit. action and we continue to grow. We're not just out there talking about it. We're living it. Yeah. So, so everybody, you got some notepads in your bags, right? I'd like you to bust those out. And I want you to write on the top here, Amazon Wholesale is a volume game, right? Can we do that real quick? I'll give you about 30 seconds to jot that down. You got some pens in there as well. For the people with the book bags, you just open them. For the backpacks. All right, you got some pens. You can pick the Sharpie, whatever makes you happy. All right, we situated? Who's got that written down? Raise your hand and say aye. Aye. All right, we'll give you 10 more yeah, seconds. Yeah, give them a few. Yeah, give them a few. All right, now I want you to write under that by December 31st, 2022. So a little over a year from now, I will be a blank Amazon seller. Six figure, seven figure, eight figure, nine figure. What type of Amazon seller do you want to be in 2022 in December? If what you write down right now doesn't make you uncomfortable, you're cutting yourself short. Yes, absolutely. If this what you write you down right now does not make you uncomfortable and feel like it's a little bit crazy, loony, you're cutting yourself short. So if you think six, put seven, fuck it. If you think you're gonna do seven, put eight. Because the whole point is the six is the person you are today. The seven is who you wanna become. There's yeah. a seven in you, and you wanna become that. This, yeah, is, this is the way we operate. If it sounds loony, that's where we're going. Yeah, and I know we got some software companies in here, so just cross off Amazon seller, and just put I wanna be an eight-figure software company. You know? This it, it, is interchangeable here. And now underneath that, by December 31st, 2022, I will have sold blank on Amazon, right? So get a little more granular on that number, right? So if you said seven figure seller, what do you want to do? Is it 1 million? Is it 5 million? Is it 10 million? If you said eight figure seller, what do you want to do? Is it, is it 10 million? Is it 13 million? Is it 24 million? You know, if you said six figure, what do you want to do? Is it 100,000? Is it 900,000? Get more granular on that. Eric and I, from the different businesses we have, we actually, at the beginning of the year, we write a check to ourselves of what we want to make for that business for that year. And yeah. then we put it in our wallets. Sebastian, what's your check say that's in your wallet right now? Uh, the one f That we wrote together. Oh, the one we wrote together was 3.65. $3.65 million. That's the check we wrote and we put in our pocket. We're doing everything in our power to make that, right? Before taxes or after, Sebastian? I don't, think we, I don't think we got that far. But at, at that number, it really doesn't matter, you know? You buy some rental properties and, you know, get around the tax loopholes and this and that. Yeah, but, we'll, we'll, I'll let the account figure it yeah, out. Yeah, but I encourage you to do that. Jim, Ter Jim Carrey taught us that. 
You know, another guy we look up to who's got some insight and vision on life because he's far more far advanced than us, more experienced than us than life. You know, I'm 33. Sebastian's what, 36? Yes. 30, 37 maybe, 36? Still 36. Right. So there's people who are there's people who understand life a little more than us, and I like to surround myself with them. So this is what we were just talking about, cutting yourself short. Right here. I'm not gonna repeat it, because if you internalize it, read it yourself, it'll sting a little bit more.